Okay, hello dear friends, good morning, such a, a beautiful, beautiful morning. And uh, this is around uh, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. My sister and I, we decided to go along a bus road, bus route. And uh, this was the bus route that when we were young, we pass by almost every day. And uh, there are a lot of uh, interesting places in this route. So I, I, I just uh, went one by one. And this one we passed by a um, bookstore. It used to be a pagoda. And when I was young, it was completely closed. And it opened up recently because um, the um, be, because uh, I do not know why they open it up. And uh, I think uh, recently China has, uh, or at least the Beijing government, has made a lot of uh, effort to 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 bring back the old and. Uh, the historic and cultural um, value and cultural scene and scenery, bring it back. It is hard because uh, there is already a lot of uh, redevelopment and, uh, and some development without planning. It was hard to, to, to bring it back, but uh, slowly we are doing it. And uh, the owner of this bookstore, he used to be from, uh, he, 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 he was born from China, uh, from Beijing, and it was uh, um, seven generation, or it's an old Beijing, uh, uh, an, an, a young person from Beijing, many generations here, and he had a fund love for the city. So he opened up a bookstore, mainly, and one of the only bookstore in Beijing that sells book related to Beijing. Some old antique books and some old maps, as you can see. He used to have this shop in another place, and now he is here and uh, he discussed and negotiated, I think, negotiated with the city government and the city district government. So the district give him this place free of rent and he take care of, uh, of renovating and, uh, and uh, safeguarding this place. And it's a, it's a, I, I think it's a very good combination of good intention and uh, good business opportunity. It's kind of a win-win situation. This is the office of that uh, of the shop owner, and the bookstore inside is very beautiful. And uh, he collected from all over China. I heard this antique doors, wood decorations, and uh, bring it here. He's one of uh, people now in Beijing has a lot of hobby and interest. This is one of his hobby. And um, my sister and I got uh, a cup of tea and sitting there and had a chat. There is always cat here, some cats, some uh, homeless cats and he took care the shop or took care the bookstore took care of the cats and uh, it's a touching story and it's very very uh, relaxing to sit here and to sit here you need to pay you can come to this bookstore free of charge but if you want to sit there you have to pay I think it's reasonable, but I got, uh, as we were sitting there drinking our tea, and the tea was not cheap, and uh, I can afford it. 
And I think this is one of the contribution I can make. They are making such a wonderful place and you do not pay and just going there and uh, sitting there is kind of not m not right. And I, I saw one guy fighting or, or arguing with the shop and uh, saying you are just uh, making money and uh, you are not doing the right thing. I feel it's not fair for this shop. It is expensive to renovate. It, it is expensive to to live in the city to begin with. And uh, buying a cup of tea, a pot of tea, and sitting for one or two or three hours is the due that uh, we, we, we deserve to pay. Uh, we we need to pay, and they deserve to 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 be treated, to be regarded. They deserve to charge us. Mm. So um, that's about it. And I got some friends just now made uh, a comment, and uh, she said, or he said, I see that uh, you do a lot of travel videos. Maybe you could do a guide about traveling in Beijing, like uh, what uh, your opinion is about traveling to Beijing, hotel, moving in Beijing, taxi, bus, walk, etc. Advice on sightseeing, food, etc. Okay, so what is my opinion on traveling in Beijing? I go back to Beijing not to travel. It's my home, so every year I go back to Beijing. And uh, I take this place as my traveling destination. And I feel that uh, everywhere, anywhere, there is something new, that there is end of uh, endless. Uh, new things and interesting things. Only in Beijing, it takes my whole life to discover, or more than my whole life. So I am never uh, bored of going to Beijing. And every time I see something new, and even if without building something new, I just find it very interesting just to see the people, to see um, to see the ordinary life makes me a lot of uh, of uh, of calmness and that's the real life that is uh, beyond tourism. And um, I also go to the tourist attractions, some of the big busy streets, but mostly I am, uh, I do the mixture of it, not bore myself going to only this quiet place and not to tire myself, only go to the, the crowded place. Beijing is very crowded and comparing with Western countries. And uh, as for hotel, I do not live in hotel. And there was one time my family went to uh, went to Tibet. We passed by Beijing, and uh, a whole family of four with uh, young teenager boys. So we lived in hotel, and we lived in a hotel as. Uh, the, the old Beijing Sihuayuan, Beijing courtyard style, and it's very interesting. I find it uh, quite, uh, quite fun and interesting. Hotel, I don't think it's too expensive. It's, uh, it's rarely, too, you can find different, uh, different uh, price of hotel range. And um, go to a hotel of Chinese old style courtyard hotel like this house. There are some hotel like this, it's very interesting. And as for transportation, I, I go out with my bicycle, so I ride my bicycle to the bus station or subway station and then take bus or subway. 
and the bus is very unpredictable. There are many, many buses, and it usually comes every five minutes or something. And uh, you can you can see the streets. That's the beauty of taking a bus to see the surrounding. But um, if you want to go to any place, subway, underground is the best. It does not have traffic. Sometimes in rush hour is crowded, but uh, very much it takes you anywhere. And uh, during the, um, the Olympic in 2008, Beijing had uh, a huge development and uh, the subway is all connected. You can go anywhere in Beijing. And usually I take uh, subway and then come up and I do not take bus. I will walk. And uh, this time in Beijing from uh, 10 o'clock in the morning I leave my house and uh, 10 o'clock in the evening I go finish my day shopping or walking around. So around 10 hours or 12 hours so that's majority of the time I was walking and sometimes taking subway. Majority of the time too was walking. Walking and uh, there are a lot of shops and uh, I feel Beijing is very safe because there are people everywhere. And uh, even in the night, it's, uh, it's always white night and people until 10, 11, 12, there are a lot of people in the streets, always there are people. So bus, preferable a subway and walk. Walk is very pleasant. Take an uh, um, um, umbrella, no, not umbrella take a, um, a casket or something to cover the, the cover the sunshine a little bit but uh, Beijing usually has uh, trees along the road majority of the city streets has trees so it's uh, very very enjoyable and uh, and uh, sightseeing everywhere is fun and interesting things so you can go you will not be bored as for the food um, <laughs> food is not uh, expensive comparing with West western standard if you like Chinese food, if you are okay with garlic, onion, or you, if your stomach get comfortable with Chinese food, Chinese food is delicious. And from time to time, you can go back to McDonald's, you can back, go back to, um, yeah, there are a lot of uh, all kinds of food. Food is really, it's a kind of a paradise for, <laughs> for foodies. So that's, um, I will stop this video here and, uh, and I hope you enjoy your day, you enjoy your travel in Beijing. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye bye, friend.